friends, it's Michelle Maddox of Sedona Meditation Experiences with another episode of Sedona Meditation Adventures. This is my show where I explore the outer terrain of beautiful Sedona, Arizona and places around the southwest while exploring the inner terrain of yourself and using tools like meditation and mindfulness. So thank you for joining me this week. This week I'm atop a beautiful mountain here in Sedona. I'm just going to give you the panoramic view so you can see the wide open spaces, beautiful sky, a few clouds here and there, but nothing really to call it a cloudy sky. Okay, I'm going to sit down so I can talk with you a little bit more. I want to continue my series on activities to do in Sedona during this pandemic time. These are activities you can do anytime in Sedona, but they're particularly nice during the pandemic when you want to avoid crowds and just have lots of uh, wide open space. So last week I spoke with you about hiking, which continues to be my number one thing to do in Sedona, pandemic or otherwise. This week I want to talk with you about stargazing. Sedona is a fabulous place to see the beautiful night sky. Just last night I took a walk to the grocery store and I could see the Pleiades and the Milky Way. So it's absolutely gorgeous, especially when you live places like where I grew up in the Midwest, where there's just nothing like it. You just don't see this kind of sky there. So what I would recommend as a wonderful activity to do when you're in Sedona is to plan on stargazing. And in fact, I suggest that you make a picnic dinner of it and then just extend your dinner into a stargazing um, expedition. Now, there's lots of places where you can stargaze. There's no one particular spot and it might be something you can do from the balcony of your Airbnb if you're staying someplace where it's nice and dark. A few suggestions of places that I like to go. Cathedral Rock at the Baco Beyond Trailhead. It's a bit of a hike. You're going to hike for probably about 10 minutes on a well-defined trail. And it takes you up to a beautiful red rock platform where there's plenty of room to stretch out, lay down, and see the night sky. Another spot that I would recommend is a large trailhead parking lot which services the trails by Doe Mesa, Fay Canyon, and Bear Mountain. It's one very large parking area that's not really used at night and though there's no easy place to lay down because it's a gravel parking lot, you could maybe lay on the roof of your car or find a spot to uh, lay down and look at the sky. But there are many places where you can find some privacy and dark sky in or just outside of Sedona. So there's no specific spot. Uh, you can use your adventure spirit and find a place that works for you. But some of the things that you'll want to have with you, definitely a flashlight. I like to bring headlamps when I'm hiking at night, um, something that really has a bright light, or my headlamp has green and red lights, which aren't as blinding, but you can still see quite a bit in front of you. So it's nice to have something like that so your hands are free. And you'll want to dress warmly if you're coming anytime soon. We're getting into the winter season here and it does cool down quite a bit at night as soon as the sun sets. We are here in the high desert and it cools down um, pretty quickly. So make sure to have some warm clothes, a hat, a scarf, a nice warm jacket, some gloves. And you probably will want to be laying down to view the stars. Some of the spots you can find are slick red rock, which you can lay just right on that. But it's nice to have something to lay on. That could be a yoga mat. You could maybe find one that has um, a carrying strap, so you can just strap it around your body and hike with it. Or you could bring a blanket and a, and a um, backpack, some way to carry it. Just something to make it comfortable 
and maybe prevent you from laying on the dirt or on the dry seed grasses and things that can be scratchy. So those are some things to consider. If you do turn it into a picnic, then I recommend um, getting something that's easy to pack. That could be some sandwiches, you could get some hors d'oeuvres, you know, some of this, some of that, maybe a thing of hummus and some chips, uh, some olives, you know, some smoked salmon, something like that. Um, it's nice to have something warm to drink. You could perhaps get a thermos of tea or something to keep your drink warm. And you'll need a backpack to carry all this in. And be sure to pack out what you pack in. Very important. There's not going to be trash cans everywhere. So be prepared to pack your trash out. That includes any food scraps, any paper products, plastics, toilet paper. Yes, toilet paper that you've used, pack that out. Nobody wants to see used toilet paper in the beautiful out country of Sedona. So pack out what you bring in. So you can make a picnic of it, you know, you'll want to check out what time sunset is happening. Give yourself plenty of time to get situated, enjoy your picnic, and then watch as the night comes on and sink into a stargazing experience. You'll also want to check and see what's going on in the night sky. I'll make some links in the notes of this recording, places you can check to see which planets are visible when, um, see what phase the moon is in. The moon sheds a lot of light in the night sky here and it's beautiful, but it can also block out some of the stars. Um, or if you're lucky enough to be here during a meteor shower, when the moon is full, it's often too bright to see the meteors very clearly. So you'll want to know, you know, what phase is the moon in? What planets might I be able to see? What constellations are easy to see? And if you enjoy learning and you get more satisfaction from being able to find a few things in the sky, it makes it a little more fun. There's also some apps that you can use on your smartphone that allow you to uh, hold your phone up and it shows you the names of the view that you're seeing in the sky. Those are kind of fun. Although I personally find when I go out to look at the stars, I don't really like to have my technology around. It's a time when I want to be out in nature and you know, I, I use technology a lot anyway. So time to unplug for me is um, time better spent when I'm out in nature. But you can use those apps to help you find your way. They're very useful that way. And I'll also make a link to some other resources that you might find interesting for your night sky watching expeditions in Sedona. So there you have it. That's this week's suggestion of something amazing to do in Sedona. Take advantage of the beautiful night sky. It's just spectacular. And when you lay down to look up at the sky, you'll notice a lot of things. You'll see um, satellites. There's a lot of satellites in the sky and you can actually spot them and watch them as they cross the night sky. You'll see all kinds of uh, shooting stars. It's not uncommon at all to see shooting stars here. Um, you'll see the Milky Way. And of course, while you're sitting watching the beautiful night sky, you can take some time to be mindful. So we're going to get ourselves into a bit of a mindful meditation practice here. And I invite you to make yourself comfortable wherever you are, outside, preferably inside, not operating a car or any other heavy equipment. This is a time you want to give to yourself fully to really sink into yourself. There's nowhere else to be. There's nothing else that you need to be doing. So go ahead and make yourself comfortable. And when you're ready, you can close your eyes and just take a few grounding breaths, breathing in through your nose and filling up your belly like a big balloon. And then fully exhaling. And at your own pace, take a few breaths just like that.
And as you exhale, just let all the tension go. And as you gently allow your breathing to become natural, just sink your energy down into your body, into your chest, your belly, your hips, continuing down through your body into the earth. Just let your energy sink down into Mother Earth, anchoring you and grounding you. And you can imagine yourself surrounded by love and light if that works for you or just imagine a barrier of protection kind of keeping your space clean energetically and I'm going to ring the tinctures and we'll enjoy a couple of minutes of silence If your attention wanders away, gently bring it back to your breath, to the feeling of being grounded. Just let yourself stay grounded and expand as you breathe. Two minutes flies right by when you're in a nice mindful state of mind. And you know, that's all it takes. You don't have to um, meditate for the long haul. There's nothing wrong with a long meditation, but these couple of minutes here and there, they go a long way to help release the pressure from your nervous system and just reconnect with a different pace of life. All right, my Sedona stargazers, if you come to Sedona and you do some stargazing, let me know how it goes. And if you'd like to do a meditation experience while you're here, I'd love to take you out and help you really tune in to the beautiful energy that's around Sedona and that's within yourself. So thank you for joining me this week. This is Michelle Maddox saying goodbye for now.